Hey everybody, this is Sam McGuire, and we're going to be looking at how to use the iPad and an app called AC7 Core to control Final Cut Pro. So this works as a Mackie control interface, basically. Let's load this up. You can see it actually looks kind of like a Mackie control unit. We have faders, we have buttons, a transport, a nice knob here. Things like record, solo, mute, and a bunch of other buttons. And actually, the very first thing we're going to do, because this has different modes, I'm going through the modes, and there's one pre-program for, let's get there, Final Cut mode. So this allows us to work with Final Cut Pro. So, we have this setup. We're also now going to be looking at the computer setup. And with the computer set, there's a couple things we need to do. First of all, I've got Final Cut running here. Let's actually go into our Utilities folder, and we'll go into the Audio MIDI setup. So you can see I've got some audio stuff kind of going on here. I've got my MIDI Studio as well. So in MIDI Studio, I need to come in here and change or set up my network area. The way this is going to work is that the iPad is going to connect, if it's on the same network, into this computer through that router. Now, if you're not on the same network, it creates some interesting problems. And if you're really determined to do this, then I would recommend maybe using a dedicated wireless hub or something like that to do this. So let's open this up. This is the default. It has a session one. I didn't create that. We can come down if you need to and actually create that with this plus sign. But you can see inside here, Sam McGuire's iPad. That's showing up again automatically. I didn't do anything to do that. But I'm going to click on it and say connect. Now the participants are over here and it's showing up there, which is great. I haven't had to ever change the port. Maybe there would be a case in the future where I would have to do that, but I haven't ever run into that yet. We're going to close this down now. We're going to close all of Audio MIDI setup. We're going to come in now into Final Cut. We can come in here and under Tools, go to Control Surfaces. Now with this, we're going to choose Mackie. That's the one we're essentially using. Let's add one. Mackie Control, that's what we want. Under Network Session 1, that's that live routing. Click OK. This shows up now. We're going to go OK again. And now, when I come over to the iPad, let's push play. I have a number of different ways to actually play this. Okay, so that's showing up now. We can use the scrub. We can use some of the faders as well. One of my favorite things about this is when you use the faders and you're over clips like that, it actually is adjusting the entire thing. So we're not necessarily writing real-time automation, but we're able to adjust clips as we're passing through that. So that's pretty exciting in a lot of ways. We can also solo things out, and there's a few other buttons which we can use which incorporates with this. Let's go back now for a moment. Change the window into the standard. So we're not in the audio mix anymore. Of different ways to actually play the, the transport is still working. Scrub will still work. <laughs> and the actual faders still work as well. So we're able to do a lot of stuff now without necessarily having to be in the audio menu. So pretty cool way to control this. You can sit back on a couch. You can sit away from your control station and control this as long as you're on the same network. So if we were to, for instance, delete something, click delete. I can click the undo button on the iPad and it will undo that. So any of the functions which are on there are a fair game for this. Last but not least, we can also change the skin for this. So it's a little bit better in a dark room not to have the bright skin on there. So a number of different options. We're not going through all the little details, but I wanted to introduce how to set this up, 
how to make it work and demonstrate that it's not only easy to set up, but that it's an effective tool when working with Final Cut Pro. Okay, this is Sam McGuire, and I hope you enjoyed this little mini tutorial.